it's filled the entire wall. The wall is, the column is completely filled, solid and packed with honey and wax. An eight-foot panel filled with thousands of bees is ripped from the wall of a home in La Mesa. Hello, everyone, and thank you for being here. I'm Dan Cohen. And I'm Michelle Medina. Crews tore down the drywall from inside the home only to find more bees. The swarm attacked several people near Helix High School on Wednesday. This time, crews froze the bees so they wouldn't attack, only to uncover hundreds of eggs. Our Adrian Moore is live in La Mesa right now with the details. Adrian. Yeah, Dan and Michelle, I've seen a number of beehives before, but never anything of this size. A whopping 75-pound beehive with thousands of bees still inside. It was living in the walls of a home along with a family of six. And as you're about to see, removing this hive was anything but easy. Spill the entire wall. It's almost hard to imagine, but a child used to sleep in this room with a massive beehive running the length of the wall, 16 inches wide and three and a half inches thick, growing in the walls of this La Mesa home. I would estimate this hive has probably been here for an easy four or five years. Beekeeper Mike Zito was up before dawn to remove what he says is a 75 pound hive packed rich with honey and thousands of Africanized bees. But first, he sprayed it down with a combination of carbon dioxide and soapy water to destroy those hidden inside. It's up there on the uh, top ten list, I would have to say. <laughs> Just above that, there's blue shingles. Mm -hmm. And that's where they're going in and out. 82-year-old Herbert Jack Coker was stung 20 times by the swarm of bees while gardening Wednesday afternoon. His 79-year-old wife was stung 50 times. Beekeepers believe the hive had no more room to grow, so the queen bee hatched a new queen and was trying to move half the colony to a new home when the couple and a handful of other residents were attacked. That's a miserable thing to have, yes. bees on you. There is another uh, Africanized swarm of bees somewhere out there that is starting up a hive just like this. Experts say the dark colored honeycomb you see here is the most difficult to remove, especially when it's encased in delicate electrical wires. As Zito bags up his fifth batch of the hive, he hopes La Mesa residents like the Cokers will rest a little easier, knowing these neighborhood pests are now gone. The main thing and the most important thing is that these bees are uh, not going to be bothering this family or the neighbors anymore. Now, beekeepers say the other half of bee colonies typically stay within a quarter mile of that original hive. So they're really encouraging residents here in the La Mesa area and other communities here across San Diego County to pay attention, keep an eye out for any bee activity in their area. Michelle and Dan. Adrian, what took so long for the homeowners to remove the hive? I mean, did they not know that the problem was so extensive? Well, according to the people who are living inside the home, we understand that they are actually renters. They didn't want to talk to us on camera. Of course, very upset about what happened to a number of their neighbors and residents here in this area. We do understand that they thought that the beehive was actually in a tree outside of that bedroom that you saw there in the piece. They said that they understand that an agency, they don't know which agency, but some agency did come out and did notify the previous tenants about removing the beehive, but didn't understand that that beehive was actually in their walls. Well, it was incredible to see the scope of the problem and how big that hive wow. really was over these last years. All right, Adrian, thanks so much for that.